Hello everyone! Welcome to Yoga Today. Today's flow will be going through just finding that connection with ourselves and the whole world around us, which is that universal energy of love that we all share, that we all share with every breath that we take, and just that energy of being alive here at the same time on this planet. So as we're flowing today, that would just be kind of some themes we go through. And let's get started right on our mat. Let's come to our hands and knees. We're gonna start with a cat cow, just starting to wake up our spine, head and tailbone down. Release head and tailbone up. And we'll just arch through our back, just noticing all those different feelings you have through your spine. Breathing in and opening between the shoulder blades. Exhale, releasing that lower back. One more time, breathe in. Now let's exhale, stretch our hands forward like we're doing a big yawn. This is our puppy pose. We're gonna keep our knee and hip in alignment. Maybe take our palms overhead if we like, bending elbows. Or you can just keep the arms outstanding. Good. Let's roll up to a kneeling position. Breathe in. And let's exhale, plant our right foot out in front of us so that our heel is right under the knee. And giving ourselves some space to lunge forward. Breathe in. Exhale, re-extend that leg. And just moving fluidly forward and back one more time. And as we exhale, let's fold over this leg. Maybe taking hands behind the back, drawing up. That challenges our balance a little bit. Or you can have your hands side by side around that leg. And let's lunge a little bit forward again. Tuck our back toes, start to feel strong through the legs as we rise up high lunge, breathe in. Exhale, open to warrior two, breathing out over our fingertips. Let's reach our right palm up, up and back. Peaceful warrior, breathe in. And then exhale, circle that right hand back down around the right foot. Left hand around the other side of the foot. Let's lift our back heel and step into plank. I'm gonna do a single leg plank here, crossing right leg over left. Feel free to step both feet down or try this variation, lowering. Curling up, breathe in. Exhale, back through downward dog, raising the right leg and lowering it down one. Raising and lowering two. Raising and lowering three. One more time, raise and lower four. And then sweep right knee up, engage through our center and exhale back. If this begins to feel tough, you can always drop to left knee and just take that right knee in and out from there. One more time, breathe in. Exhale as we send our right leg back, let's look under right arm, maybe bend right knee, this may be enough, or we may choose to flip over, open through the chest, breathe in. Exhale, right hand back down, right leg back up. Let's take our right knee into our pigeon. Take a moment here, lift through the chest, open the heart, breathe in. Exhale, let's come forward over our leg and relax. Take a few moments in our sleeping pigeon, just laying our chest and our head down. If you need a pillow or blocks, you can have some here as well. Just take a few moments. here let's come back to seated take our back leg our left leg wrap it over the right take our right arm up and wrap it around the left and let's twist those back maybe even find a bind breathing in exhale taking our hands behind us we're going to face the other way come through a little downward dog walk our feet out let's go through a vinyasa flow here plank the lower chaturanga and curl up Cobra upward dog, breathe in. Exhale, lower the belly down. Let's point our toes up behind us. Reach our hands back, locust pose. Or if you'd like to bend your knees, finding your bow, feel free. Breathe in, open that chest. Breathing in and exhaling. If you're making a connection of your hands to your feet or ankles, feel that connection through your whole body. And again, symbolizing that connection of everything in our world. One more big breath in. Exhale, release, and let's gently push back child's pose. Take a few more moments of rest here. 
sigh out any tension or stress, sigh out any feelings of loneliness, and breathe in that feeling of connection to everything around you. Realizing your bigger part in this world and realizing all the lives you touch every single day just by being here. As we feel ready, we're going to roll back up to kneeling, breathe in. Exhale, this time stomping out our left foot and taking a lengthened stretch through the leg and then bending into a lunge. Come through this at our own pace. Breathe in. Exhale. Feel free to move fluidly through your upper body if you like. Sometimes we have things we just want to do, like waving the arms or whatever else feels good. And then in a moment, let's take our hands behind our back, where we stretch that leg and try holding down here for our half split. If you need hands by your side, take them there. And we'll take our hands down now, if we feel ready for that. Lunge into our left knee and tuck our right toe and sweep the arms high, breathe in. High lunge, breathe. Exhale, open warrior two, breathe in. Exhale, slipping left palm, reach up and back, peaceful warrior. And then we'll carry that left hand around to the outside of left foot, right hand down. We'll step back up through that left leg, rising it up. And we're gonna go ahead and lower it on top of the right leg to get chaturanga. Cobra upward dog, back through downward dog, and then wave that left leg again, up and down. Breathing in and out, opening the right leg as we raise the left. There's that connection, even in your own physical body, how one side really affects the other. As we hold left leg up, let's draw left knee in. So sometimes even when we're sore or tight on one side, stretching the opposite can help with that too. We want to always stretch both sides equally. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, left knee sweeps up, pigeon. Lifting through our chest, breathe in. Exhale, open. back down and rest here for a little while. Taking our left arm up and wrapping it around that right knee, and gazing back over our shoulder, and then even wrapping here. Beautiful. Keep our breath flowing. Very good. As we unwind, let's take a moment with our feet out in front of us, and just start to swish our knees like this, side to side. Releasing tension that may have built up in the hips. And then we'll bring our feet together for a moment. Maybe hold the toes, spread the feet open, open the heart and chest, and let ourselves fall forward. Feeling our hips opening, breathing in and out. As we come back up, we're going to check in with rounding our back. Make sure if you're doing this at home and you're not sure of your balance, make sure maybe there's something soft behind you if you do roll back. We're gonna try extending one leg out, holding that big toe, and then the other. And we're in this big sit. And you can extend your legs fully or maybe keep them bent if you wanna end up holding the outsides of the feet. Whatever feels good, checking in with our balance, lengthening through the chest, opening through the heart. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in. Good, now as we exhale, we're gonna go ahead and bend the knees and come into either a half lotus or a full lotus. So if you're doing half lotus, just place one foot on top of one thigh, the other leg can be underneath, or maybe we do full lotus and place both feet on top. I'm gonna to show a floating lotus today for those that would like to try it. And if you're doing a single leg, 
I'm gonna show you first that. So with single leg, one foot's on the floor, you push with your hands and you can still push with your bottom foot to float up. The other version, you do the same thing, you're in your lotus, breathe in, exhale, press the hands on the outsides of the thighs, exhale, float up. And we do again, breathe in, exhale, pulling up from that lower abdominals, exhale. That's your deep inner core muscles waking up from lower abdominals to upper. We're squeezing everything together. So one more time, breathe in. Exhale, float. Get those hips up good. And come down. Take a side stretch. Release that. If you feel like you're ready for a little bit more, take either just a few more side stretches and then switch feet. Or you can go ahead and switch feet right away, whichever leg you add on top. So again, if you're doing a floating lotus, you might be pushing with one leg. You know, whichever leg you had on the bottom, make sure we switch sides, okay? We're going to take our breath in. Exhale, press up again. And release. Breathe in. Exhale, press. Good. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Loading up and coming down. Let's stretch out our arms now. So taking right arm behind the back, maybe touch the center of your back, or maybe take left arm underneath. And switch sides. Open through that chest. Good. Release here. Let's take our shoulders back. Now just to wake up kind of that connection feeling. This is a short flow today. Just something you can do every day to just wake up your body and challenge your center as well as coming back to that connection with others. So let's do the Om Namah Shivaya mantra a few times together. I'll be quite extended with mine, but you can take it at your own pace. This is your inner voice being part of your practice now. So sometimes we only think of our physical body as part of the practice, but your inner self is so much more important than anything material. So take a moment and just find your inner self. Maybe one hand on your heart, one on your belly. Breathe in. Exhale. Reminding yourself that you are such a beautiful part of this world finding gratitude for being a part of this whole universe. And we're gonna try that Om Namah Shivaya. As we hold our index finger and thumb together, that's that circle connection of that universal energy. We're spreading our fingers. So we're bringing that energy back into our body, circling it through our body, and we're also gonna be releasing it back out, bringing love, happiness, and gratitude everywhere we go. So taking one breath in, Oh yoga or any other type of videos i do pilates and dance as well come join me on this channel subscribe and keep flowing remember you're beautiful we're so happy you're here in this world thanks for being here bye